Number 63. The great astronomer Edwin Hubble discovered that all distant galaxies are receding from our Milky Way galaxy with velocities proportional to their distances. It appears to an observer on the Earth that we are at the center of an expanding universe. Figure 13.62, which is above, illustrates this for five galaxies lying along a straight line with the Milky Way galaxy at its center. So using the data from the figure, calculate the velocities a relative to galaxy 2 and b relative to galaxy 5. Okay, so let's now, so since we're doing related uh, velocities or relative velocities, I want to use this formula. Okay, so we could probably think about it a little even more intuitively than the formula, but I want to use the formula because when the problems become less intuitive, you want to fall back on this mathematical structure. All right, so we can kind of already guess, right, that if I'm trying to figure out the relative velocity of galaxy one relative to galaxy two, I would just subtract these two values basically, right? Okay, that would be correct, but let's try to get the intuition with the math. All right, so let's do, um, so this is for A. So the velocity then, what we're interested in is the velocity of galaxy one relative to galaxy two should be equal then to the velocity of galaxy one with respect to or relative to galaxy three. Why did I choose that? Well, because I know all the numbers relative to galaxy three. All right. Plus then the velocity of galaxy uh, three relative to two. Okay. That just follows this simple formula over on the right. Okay. So now the velocity of galaxy one relative to galaxy two should equal the velocity of one relative to three. Right. So that is the value that they gave us of the negative 4,500. Okay, plus then, now the velocity of 3 relative to 2. But do we know the velocity of 3? Not really, right? Relative to 2? No, they didn't give that to us. I mean, they did, but they didn't. So what they did give us, though, and I'm going to change this, is I'm going to say the velocity of 2 relative to 3. So I'm going to switch these. When you switch the relativity, you have to switch the sign. Okay, so that's fine. Now, do we know the velocity of 2, galaxy 2, relative to 3? Yes, we do. That's this value, right? Okay, so let's plug that in now. So the velocity of galaxy 1 relative to 2 is equal to negative 4,500, right, plus negative, and then the velocity of 2 relative to 3 was also negative. So there's another negative, 2,200. So what does that work out to be? So this basically is the velocity of 1 relative to 2 is equal to negative 4,500, okay, plus, right, because 2 negative is a positive, 2,200. So what do we find? Well, we're basically subtracting the 2, right? So it's negative 4,500 minus 20, oh, excuse me, plus 2,200, and that's negative 2,300. Negative 2,300, okay? So that's what we thought of uh, thought it should be intuitively but i'm just showing you how the math works okay so let's just try to do the math for everyone all right i'm not though going to do all of these steps i'm just going to kind of skip a couple of steps here and there but let's see what we can do all right so now we got to move so this was for galaxy one now we got to move to galaxy three so the velocity of galaxy three relative to two should be equal to the velocity of galaxy three relative to itself right because that's what we know plus then the velocity of galaxy three relative to 2. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Uh, yeah, so what do we got? V velocity of, uh, excuse me, the velocity of 3 relative to 2 should equal, well, the velocity of 3 relative to itself is nothing, right? It's 0. Can't move relative to itself. So that's just 0. Then plus, right, the velocity of exactly what it's asking me to solve for. Okay, so do we know three, the velocity of three relative to two? No, we do not. We do know though the velocity of two relative to three, right? That was given here. This is the velocity of two relative to three. Okay, so that solves that. So the velocity of three then relative to two should equal negative, negative 2200. All right, so velocity of three relative to two should be 2200 and that's positive, but that's, that's what matters, right? In terms of the way, right, if, if, if relative to this galaxy, the second galaxy is moving to the left, okay, then 
if I look at it relative to Galaxy 2, it would appear that this Galaxy 3 is moving to the right. So the math all works out and the signs work. Okay, great. So let's just keep going. So number four. So this would be the velocity of four relative to two would equal the velocity of four relative to three plus the velocity of three relative to two. Right, so if you notice, this second term is always the same here. Right, so we're always going to keep having the same math. So the velocity of 4 relative to 2 would be 4 relative to 3, which is 2830. Okay, that's right here. And then it's essentially just going to be, now write a double negative all the time. We're just going to write plus 2200. Okay, so this is velocity of 4 relative to 2. Should be 2830. 2830 plus 2200, so 5030. So this is now 50, 30. Great, and then number five now, the velocity of five relative to two should equal the velocity of five relative to three plus the velocity of three relative to two. So this is now equals, so five relative to three was 6700, so 6700. And then this term, remember, is the same as all the other three, so it should be plus 2200. And then 5 to 2 is going to be 6,700 plus 2,200. Great, 8,900. Okay, 8,900. Okay, wonderful. So we got all those. So that takes care of letter A. And let's see uh, letter B, right? So for letter B now, we're going to have to do all relative to number 5. So the velocity of 1 relative to 5 should be equal to the velocity of one relative to three plus the velocity of three relative to five. So the velocity of one relative to five should be equal to the velocity of one relative to three, which we know already it's negative 4,500, negative 4,500, plus then the velocity of three relative to five. We don't know that, but we know the inverse of it. So this becomes the same issue again, right, as we did before. This would be the negative right, velocity of 5 relative to 3. Now we do know the velocity of 5 relative to 3, that was given, right, and it's positive, right, so essentially a positive number going in here with the negative sign keeps it negative, correct? So let me just backtrack, so this should then be negative 6700. I'm just trying to save a little space here, guys. So velocity of 1 relative to 5 should equal now negative 4500 minus 6,700, great, 11,200. So negative, negative 11,200, and that should kind of make sense. All right, uh, next, so this was for number one. This is now for number three. So we have the velocity of, th hold on, sorry. No, no, we're gonna do two next, apologize. Velocity of, hold on, sorry, velocity of two. So this is gonna be the velocity of two relative to five should be equal to the velocity of two relative to three plus the velocity of three relative to five. Notice we're gonna get the same term again, just like we did in the first case. So the velocity of two relative to five should be two relative to three, which was negative 2200, right? Then minus the 6700, okay? So the velocity of two relative to five should now be equal to negative 2200 minus 6700, negative, 8,900, so negative 8,900. Wonderful, let's do three next, right? The uh, velocity of three relative to five should be equal to the velocity of three relative to three, okay, right? Plus the velocity of, whoop, the velocity of three relative to five. So this works out to be the same as like what we did over here, right? So this just goes to zero, so the velocity of Three relative to five, we found that out already, right? It was always the negative 6,700. And that should make sense, right? If galaxy five is moving to the right relative to galaxy three, then if I were to observe from galaxy five what's happening to galaxy three, it would be moving now to the left, all right? So, and that's what the sign tells us. So great. Last but not least, now we're gonna do number four. So the velocity of four relative to five should be equal to the velocity of four relative to three plus the velocity of three relative to five. So the velocity of four relative to five will equal four relative to three, which was 2830, right? Then minus the 6700. Okay, so the velocity of four relative to five 
should simply be equal to 2830 minus 6700 and negative uh, negative 3870 so negative 3870 all right and those would all be the relative velocities so guys thanks for tuning in i hope this helped please remember to subscribe and tell everyone everyone your mother your dad sister brother nieces nephews uncles cousins friends tell them about us we can help them out <laughs> all right thanks for tuning in i'll talk to you guys soon